I got, there's a clip I have to show you. The greatest football game ever played. It's one of it's it's a great high school football clip. Three left to go in the ball game, and the roof has caved in on Plano East. It's from the early '90s of uh, it's this Texas playoff game. Texas football, I would say, really is everything to the people here in Texas. Six, seven, eight-year-old kids, they all want to grow up to you know play for the local high school, you know. Who cares? Semifinals. This team's down like 42 to 17 with like two minutes left. 2.42 left to go. Looks, 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 throws. Touchdown. touchdown. Never die attitude. We're like, oh well. They score a touchdown, but the, the radio announcers are from the team that's losing. If they get this dead gum onside kick, we in this thing. <laughs> we're no longer broadcasters, we're homers. Mm -hmm. They're like, all right, we got some fight in us left. Onside kick. All right, good boy. Mm -hmm. And then they get the onside kick, score again, and they're like, "They can slip some Vaseline on that football. Now's the time to do it." Okay, we've got we. You never know. We got a ball game. We might. Turn the dead gum sideline. Half of them got their shoulder pads and stuff off. They better strap them back on. <laughs> I'm telling you now, if they score, they I'm gonna another. jump out of this boot. Then they get another <laughs> onside kick. Come on, baby. Side kick. Easy. Slow down. Down. It's up. Score, they're like, God damn, we're right back in this thing. Yes, sir. Oh, here we go, boys. Get another onside kick. It's open. They got it again. They got it again. Good gosh, you might not believe it. This is unbelievable. Get on the I told you. Unbelievable. Good gosh, you might have Joe Friday. Like, we did it. Oh, my God. <laughs> they score a touchdown. They've got to have a touchdown. Whitley going to throw. And they're like, oh, the most improbable comeback of all time. <laughs> Everybody on their cars and the radio back to Plano. Oh, Y'all done missed wow. the greatest comeback of all times. Of all time. It has to be. 41, 43, Plano East, 24 seconds left. I done wet my britches. <laughs> <laughs> There's like 10 seconds left. They kick it off. The other team returns the kick. Here's the kickoff. 24 seconds left. Terrence Green boots it high. Gonna be All right, just seconds run. Got it, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, my gosh, no! Come on, no, no! Oh, God! I don't believe it. God bless those kids. I'm, I'm sick. I want to throw up. <laughs> they lose. Oh. These dudes are like, oh, no. <laughs> you ever see a black man turn white? And that's what happened. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God bless those kids. <laughs> I feel sick. <laughs> I was hoping that he kicked it deep enough that I can get a chance to redeem myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is, it is the most heart-wrenching loss I've ever seen, dude. Oh. You gotta see it. These dudes, yeah. But that's when you go in and losing coach, their mind like, for us. Boys, yeah, I love you. God damn, I don't you gotta care. You say I love you, dude. This goes deeper than winning or losing, dude. You get real deep as a coach. Yeah. yeah, I love you, boys. They were interviewing the guy like thirty years later. It still haunts him. Really? Yeah, he's like fucked up from it. They from all what? are. The one dude started crying talking about it. I broke down, man. And it's and when I think about it, you know, it was, you know, it it it, it gets to me a little bit. You know, I just remember going to the sideline. And uh, having my dad, uh, you know, talk to me a little bit, but it's painful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, man. That must be kind of cool, though. You have a group of kids. You're watching them within a short period yeah. of time, like, grow, learn things about themselves and all this stuff. It is kind of become like... Become men. You get to watch yeah. them become men. True. It's just one of the greatest moments of my life, you know. Just think about that a lot sometimes. Yo, God damn, you're getting big. God damn. <laughs> you're big as fuck. What you have? This cowboy collar used to be mine. This is cowboy collar. You're going to look so fucking cool in it. <laughs> <laughs> you're basically going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin. Just write me letters. Tell me all the pussy you're getting now. You're going to be so fucking cool out there, dude. You want to have a beer? <laughs> I'll give you a beer. Why don't you come to my apartment? I'll give you beers. <laughs>
<laughs> well, maybe you want some girls there. I understand. <laughs> we can bring girls. Don't fucking tell anyone about this. Come over to my apartment. I have Coors Lights. I have smeared off ices on, <laughs> dude, on we chill. Get so fucked up. I have an old N64. We can play fucking <laughs> NFL Blitz, dude. I don't have any fucking friends. I've seen so many clips of it since then. I can almost verbatim play by play. When you get to the end of that film and you're 44 to 41 ahead, you cut the film off and we win. And we win for life. <laughs> <laughs> I love you kids so much. <laughs>